Let's do new audio exercise at the concert. Сейчас вы будете выполнять задание по аудированию. Каждый текст прозвучит два раза. После первого и второго прослушиваний у вас будет время для выполнения и проверки заданий. Все паузы включены в аудиозапись. Остановка и повторное воспроизведение аудиозаписи не предусмотрены. Задание 1. Вы два раза услышите четыре коротких диалога, обозначенных буквами. A, B, C, D. Установите соответствие между диалогами и местами, где они происходят. К каждому диалогу подберите соответствующее место действия, обозначенное цифрами. Используйте каждое место действия из списка 1-5 только один раз. В задании есть одно лишнее место действия. У вас есть 20 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданием. Now we are ready to start. Dialogue A. Where did you learn to skate so well? Here. I got my first roller skates three years ago, and since then I've skated regularly, almost every day. To be frank, I was surprised to see you here, in this kind of weather. And what's wrong with the weather? Well, it's sort of cold and windy. I'm freezing. You'd better go home now, so as not to get a cold. I'll skate a little bit more, and we'll head for home too. Dialogue B. It's great that we live so close to this place, isn't it? Yeah, but I only come here on the days when the weather is really bad. I prefer doing sports outdoors, not indoors. Why? It's a nice place. And well equipped with treadmills, chest presses and leg presses. And there's a fitness instructor who can help you design your own program if you want. But I don't want any of those. Jogging in the park attracts me much more than running on the treadmill. But as it's raining so hard outdoors, I have to exercise here. Dialogue C. Just look at them. They move very gracefully. And they feel the music very well. And what did you expect? They are professionals. It's not our school drama society, after all. And the costumes are wonderful. We need to come here again, don't we? We will. I'll find out what's on next month, and we'll buy the tickets. Thank you. Dialogue D. Where are you going? To the skating rink. We've arranged to meet up there in half an hour. But it's so cold outdoors. It's freezing. Put on your warm coat, not this jacket. Okay, but I don't know where my winter coat is. I wanted to put it on, but I wasn't able to find it. It's in the wardrobe. Here it is. And put on this hat. It's windy. You have 20 seconds to complete the task. Next task. It's up there in half an hour. But it's so cold. В задании есть одно лишнее утверждение. Extra, У вас есть 30 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданием. The speaker recommends a place to go for a holiday. The speaker explains how to avoid quarrels. The speaker talks about his or her pet. The speaker reports the result of his or her project board. Uh, the speaker describes his or her school friends. The speaker disapproves of his or her friend's behavior. Now we are ready to start. Speaker A. My life is very busy, and I don't have time for hanging out with friends. We mostly communicate in school, and about school matters. Jack, who sits next to me in class, helps me a lot. He is very clever, and he is always ready to help. He also finds time for sports, but doesn't like taking part in competitions. Jack doesn't play football. He usually prefers watching the games on TV. He loves animals, but he doesn't have any pets at home. Speaker B. I cannot boast that I have a lot of friends. I spend most of my free time with my dog. His name is Blackie, and he is a young Labrador, playful and clever. He misses me when I'm in school, and when at last I come home, Blackie wants to get me to play with him. When I'm busy with my homework, he sits nearby, watching me. Speaker C. I've known Kate since my childhood, and we've always been very good friends. But everything has changed recently. Kate has become very rude to our classmates. She makes fun of them and calls them losers. She boasts about her new gadgets and always but demonstrates how smart and successful she is. Behavior. She is my friend, right. But even I do not enjoy her company anymore. Speaker D. Last summer, we went to my father's hometown. It was the first time we went there all together as a family. It's a nice quiet place with green streets and nice parks. People are friendly there and are always glad to help a stranger. We travelled with our dog. 
but it was not a problem. The owner of the hotel where we stayed did not mind pets, and in general, the hotel was cozy and warm. If you need to relax and to escape your busy routine for a few days, it's just the place to go. Place to go. To go Speaker E. The next point in my survey was the question about friends and friendship. About 50% of the people say that their best friend is someone they met in childhood. 30% say that their best friend is someone from their own family, like a mother, father, brother or a cousin. 5% say that their pet, usually a dog, is someone they trust most and that they could call the pet a real friend. The others ticks to the box. I don't have any opinion on the point. You have 30 seconds to complete the task. Should it? Now you will listen to the texts again. Speaker A. My life is very busy and I don't have time for hanging out with friends. We mostly communicate in school and about school matters. Jack, who sits next to me in class, helps me a lot. He is very clever and he is always ready to help. He also finds time for sports, but doesn't like taking part in competitions. Jack doesn't play football. He usually prefers watching the games on TV. He loves animals, but he doesn't have any pets at home. <coughs> Speaker B. I cannot boast that I have a lot of friends. I spend most of my free time with my dog. His name is Blackie. And he is a young Labrador, playful five, and clever. Three. He misses me when I'm in school, and when at last I come home, Blackie wants to get me to play with him. When I'm busy with my homework, he sits nearby, watching me. Speaker C. I've known Kate since my childhood, and we've always been very good friends. But everything has changed recently. Kate has become very rude to our classmates. She makes fun of them and calls them losers. She boasts about her new gadgets and always demonstrates how smart and successful she is. She is my friend, right. But even I do not enjoy her company anymore. Speaker D. Last summer... We went to my father's hometown. It was the first time we went there all together as a family. It's a nice quiet place with green streets and nice parks. People are friendly there and are always glad to help a stranger. We travelled with our dog, but it was not a problem. The owner of the hotel where we stayed did not mind pets and, in general, the hotel was cosy and warm. If you need to relax and to escape your busy routine for a few days, it's just the place to go. Speaker E. The next point in my survey was the question about friends and friendship. About 50% of the people say that their best friend is someone they met in childhood. 30% say that their best friend is someone from their own family like a mother, father, brother or a cousin. 5% say that their pet, usually a dog, is someone they trust most and that they could call the pet a real friend. The others tick to the box. I don't have any opinion on the point. This is the end of the task. You now have 20 seconds to check your answers. Uh, 5, 3, 6, 1, 4... <coughs> Next. <coughs> I remember they were 15 minutes late for the swimming competition. So, вы слышите разговор двух друзей Ника и Анны, задание три восемь поля ответ, запишите одну цифру, которая соответствует номеру. Now we are ready to start. What can be keeping them so long, Anna? The film starts in five minutes. Don't worry, Nick. Just buy yourself some more popcorn.
It's a nice quiet place with green street. Шестьдесят секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданиями. Вы услышите запись дважды. Одинжды. Один. Where are Nick and Anna talking? In the cinema, in the, in the school canteen, in the swimming pool. What does Nick do? Nick a schoolboy, uh, Nick a university, Nick a newspaper reporter. What attracts Nick to the career most of all? The opportunity to travel, to become famous, to learn new things. What sport does Nick do? Cycling, windsurfing, football. What are Nick's plans for the summer holidays? To do a summer job, to go abroad, to learn a new language. What country uh, has Nick recently been to? Italy, Spain, France. Now we are ready to start. What can be keeping them so long, Anna? The film starts in five minutes. Don't worry, Nick. Just buy yourself some more popcorn. My cousins will be here very soon. They are not in the habit of being late. Aren't they? I remember they were 15 minutes late for the swimming competition last month. Oh, it was not their fault. It was me who told them the wrong address. And I can't really understand what makes you worry so much. You have the ticket, and you can start watching the film whenever you like. Yes, but it doesn't feel good anyway. You've changed a lot since you entered university. When we were at school, you were not very punctual. Right. Now I cannot be so careless. I should do all my tasks exactly on time. And I can never miss lectures and seminars. I won't pass my exams otherwise. Yeah, I understand. You study medicine, and it's really hard. Did you choose the career of a doctor because of your father? Yes, probably. My father was a reporter, you know, and he worked for quite a famous newspaper. He travelled a lot to make his reports, and once, when he was in India, he got seriously ill. The doctors from the local hospital saved his life. Yes, being a doctor is a very important profession. But it may be very stressful, and you have to learn constantly, because medical technologies are developing very quickly. This is exactly what attracts me most of all. I hate monotonous jobs. I need to learn something new all the time. I want yeah, new challenges. Yeah, new challenges? I suppose that is why you go windsurfing. Probably, yes, that is the reason. It sounds strange, but I don't enjoy football. I seldom cycle, and I'm too lazy to jog. But when I need to ride the waves... Wow, I'm ready to do it in any weather until I'm dead tired. Are you going to some place that's famous with windsurfers? He does. Where the waves are high? To Australia, for example, or somewhere else? One day, probably. Not now. As for this summer, I have to stay at home because I've already got a job, a summer job. I'm going to work and save some money for the next year. Yes, I understand. I'm looking for a job too. Probably I'll go to Italy to help my aunt. They run a small hotel there as a family business. And in tourist season, they hire additional staff. Italy is a great country. It's a shame I've never been there yet, but I was lucky enough to see Barcelona a couple of weeks ago. And your university studies? Did you miss any lectures? Oh, it was only for a weekend. The plane tickets to Spain were on sale, and we decided to go on a trip. We enjoyed it. But you don't speak Spanish, do you? No, French is my only foreign language, and I can't say I speak it perfectly. Oh, here are your cousins at last. That is them, isn't it? Yes, it's them. Let's hurry up now. The film is about to start any minute. You have so, 30 seconds to complete the task. Thank you. Next uh, oh, audio <laughs> waits. Uh, so, thank you for watching. This, uh, read description, compare answers. Maybe some wrong. Maybe you don't uh, agree, disagree. Um, Share, like, subscribe, uh, share, like my video and subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.